Hey y'all, how you doing? My name is Brownie, and if you... Sorry, there's no music currently. The one that you're hearing, I just posted it on while I was editing. Um, anyway, uh, if you saw my content, I've been uploading videos and shorts of this Dragon Ball MOBA game that's currently called Dragon, Dragon Ball Project Multi. And... They said some things on their philosophy on their game, but they're also expressing their thanks, as you can see right here. Let us start off by saying to all those who participated in the beta tests, thank you. With all of the in-game and out-of-game feedback we've received, there's loads of work on. In this letter, we would like to explain a few of our design philosophies as well as the direction Project Multi will be going towards its release. But before doing, before going into details, let us preface this by saying this letter will be pretty long. And what letter is that? Well, it's this one. So let's see if it has anything interesting of what they learned or what they have it in mind for this mobile game because I had loads of fun with Dragon Ball Project Multi. But anyway, let's see what this letter says. The original intent... Okay. Project Multi was designed to provide the experience of freely controlling your beloved Dragon Ball characters wherever, with whoever, whomever, and whenever through the franchise's first team-focused multiplayer game. Specifically, we aim to create a game where a fun competition would be, could be had between most of any player even with a bit of a gap between their skill. Deep understanding of the game and practice will serve you well, but swaying game elements will ensure that each round will play out differently from the last. All of that in roughly 10 minutes for a satisfying experience without oversaying its welcome or our welcome. The original beta's purpose was to ensure the above values could be properly felt, as well as other fidelities, including but not limited to network stress and in-game balancing. With that in mind, our conclusions for the two weeks test are as follow. The positives are high interest in future hero characters, general rules are not too confusing and easy to get into, ease of control, network latency was not det detrimental to overall experience, isometric views did not diminish the value of the world of Dragon Ball, general aesthetics are in tune with fan expectations, and demand for cosmetic items exceeds expectations. Wow, so. The latency thing is true. The ease of control is true. Well, it, in my case, I use the PS4 controller on the phone, and I when I play this game on PC, I will definitely use a controller, and it felt really well. The rules were simple. The, the characters, like I've said, the characters Dragon Ball Universe has is immense. And the cosmetic stuff that goes along with it. But yeah, the ease of control and network latency, that's one of my favorite parts of the game. Now the negatives. Certain game systems felt unrewarding. Mm, specific characters, roles, tanks, or outperform others to an extreme degree. Yeah, yeah, because I think Samasu and... Vegeta were the tank roles. Boy, they were they were OP. Like I played Goku a few times and did not last in an interaction a lot. I've lasted longer with Krillin. I've lasted longer with uh I think Krillin was the only technical character. The ones that were in the Veda that I I managed to play was Goku, Vegeta. Piccolo, Krillin, Tomasu. I also managed to get Trunks and Android 18, but that was at the last hours of the beta, so I couldn't get a real feel or or how to use these characters. But 
Samasu and Vegeta, they were they were too much. Like they were tank rolls, but they should not be hitting as hard. Um, certain game system felt unrewarding. I wonder if it means the the Great Ape. I wonder. Or is it the ones where people were invading and if you beat them you get a boost of health? The yellow enemies that came in minute two, minute three, minute five or something like that. I mentioned in my short. And slightly confusing UI. Huh. I don't know about much confusing AI. I mean UI. But I mean if it was confusing to some people, I would like to see how they can make this better. Friend party system bug. Uh I could not do this feature. Cause I did not I could not play with any of the friends or my friends. I have no friends. Lacking mobile tailored interface. Now I wonder, because I did play the mobile version. Mobile tailored interface. Wonder what that means. Crashes and high temperature hardware on mobile. Uh, yeah. I could uh, not play this game for at least, like, at least an hour. I think that's when my phone felt pretty hot. Too many bots? I don't know if I encountered any bots. The names that showed up, they did seem like real people. But bots? I don't know. I did not encounter any bots. And I played around 5-6 hours of this game. Maybe that's not enough to really find any bots, but... <laughs> I don't know. Not enough difference between rounds to warrant a long-term replayability. Not enough difference between rounds. Huh. Again, this is something I don't know much. I'm so new to MOBA stuff, so I guess the rounds could be kind of like from one match to another. The replayability aspect, um, I guess, yeah, because if it's just 10 minutes of doing the same thing, that could, uh, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be in there for much than an hour or something. And this is also going to be a PC game, so it has to be some replayability factor. Maybe they, that's why they put in that new mode that was very intense that was like capture the flag maybe the old kid add some more to that i don't know our intentions is to further strengthen the positives and solve the negatives to provide the experience we've originally envisioned at the same time we hope to keep expectations on what's to come at launch at a realistic level so as not to cause any disappointments okay here's some major changes before moving on, please note that not all of our changes and fixes are set in stone yet. Discussions and planning are still being made, and details of our plans will be explained on it on ex expanded on. Sorry, it's like <laughs> 12 a.m. Expanded on in the coming months through our official channels. With that, here are some of our major changes and directions on the future of Project Multi. Oh, great Abe. Okay, so we talked about earlier about, was it, I think it was, what was the negative? Uh, certain game system felt unrewarding, I, I guess. Yeah, it has to be that, the great Abe. Great Ape matchmaking, that's very important, <laughs> very important. Hero characters and game rules. Fourth one, I like to read that one, because I don't know nothing about that one. Great Ape, its original objective was to up the ante to accelerate the game and provide a chance to either team for either team to win. Both objectives were accomplished, but the latter came at a detriment for the majority of players as 
was our original design philosophy, the Great Ape will still maintain its functions to encourage a climactic end of the round, but the boon it provided to its it, it's defeat its defeaters will be removed entirely. The boon. See, it's been a while since I looked at the videos of my, my beta test, so it could be the nerf on the enemy side if it had any cams. Yeah, because it would make the team too... It made the team rely on finishing the Great Ape and get a huge upset. Maybe that's what it says? Uh, matchmaking. In order to pleasantly continue playing multiplayer games, it is essential to shorten the matchmaking and loading time as much as possible. Let us admit that we overdid the tuning for this during the beta test, forcing the game client to instantly give up when looking for other players to match. This is simply our mistake. And although bots will not disappear entirely, because they shouldn't, matchmaking in general will be made better by launch. Okay, hope they live up to that. Hero characters. To provide a chance for everyone... I don't know why I said it like that. To provide a chance for every one of our hero characters to shine, we'll be making frequent balances, balance changes, whether they directly or indirectly change how a specific hero behaves. One key point we hope players will understand with, with this is that not every character will perform perfectly in the same meta environment. I got that on a different mode. Yeah. I got that clearly. There will be, there will always be certain heroes outperforming another in different scenarios, and we feel that we feel that's what will make this game fun and engaging. Our aim is to shift the spotlights from time to time onto different heroes to incentivize a variety in gameplay. That is not to say our beta test environment was perfect. On the note of hero characters, the shop level and the hero coins are planned to be removed. Instead, hero accusation will be cons cons consolidated into the collection level. Rewards with a curated order of heroes available. As heroes are added, additional level rewards will be implemented for players to acquire them from. For those of you who may be worried that heroes in the farther ladder are collection levels, collection level rewards may provide unfair advantage, we assure you that every hero will be will have its strengths and weaknesses. So the coin thing, it did I did struggle to get some characters, like I had to rank them up in order to get some currency. Maybe that- or it means that you had to be a certain ranking in order to get these characters, even if you had the in-game currency. Is that what it is? Because that was annoying. Hmm. Anyway, game rules. Although the specifics are still on the drawing board, we have plans to implement a system of randomness to sway the outcome of a match to provide a certain degree of unpredictability. We do not wish for players to constantly be forced to perform optimally in the same fashion over and over again, nor do we want for players to feel their accomplishments and team fights to feel insignificant to the outcome of the round. We understand that the Great Ape was not optimal in that matter. Regardless, additional rules and tweaks are being worked on, and they will be disclosed in coming months. So, what this tells me is that there will be possible mode, hopefully this applies in rank as well, that you can turn off or on the great ape and that way it will be more skill based i guess and those who want to be 
I think the great ape thing might be in rank. I, I mean, the toggle off the great ape would be on rank, and the option to have it on and on would be casual play. I don't know if that's their aim. I'm just guessing. But <laughs> the, seeing the great ape like three times, it, it it really bothered people because you could have like a good lead and all of a sudden just because the enemy team uh like got a lucky shot on the great ape then they got instantly overwhelmed that that's annoying that is annoying and i'm glad that they're listening to these concerns and making some tweaks about that our priority remains to provide long-term long-term fun for all of the fans of Dragon Ball through Project Multi. Although many of the designs listed above may change at launch, we will put our efforts to maintain transparency, very important, so that our players will understand our intent behind gameplay changes. Furthermore, any feedback will be greatly appreciated to make for a better overall experience. We look forward to seeing you all in the battlefield again, the Dragon Ball Project Multi Development and Management Team. So, that's good to know. It just tells me that they're actually listening and they want to make this work. I mean, it's a Dragon Ball IP, they want to take care of it. <laughs> and especially with the whole Toriyama thing, they really want to make extra care of, of this IP. And making it a MOBA when it hasn't been done before on the Dragon Ball, or you can correct me if I'm wrong, they really want to make this work. And the game is good. And these complaints are valid. The negatives, they are valid. And I want to see how they can fix these. Especially the Great Ape thing. So I'm glad they're listening. Anyway, what do you guys think of this? Is this good for y'all? Is this pleasing? I sure like it, and I'm looking forward to more of this. And again, I'm not, I don't want this game to come out soon. I want them to cook. I want them to develop this in a calmly fashion. That way, everyone can be pleased on this product. But let me know your concerns, and if I had some things that I didn't understand, you can explain it to me. I'm all ears. Anyway, take care. Have a good one. Bye.